Get another one of those that's here. So what I'm gonna have you do is you stand on that side. Ready? Right. Oh, there's a what the fuck? There's a decays brown thing on top of it. Buddy. I didn't even notice that until just now. What the heck? Well, I guess that's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Yeah, he's Look so at that. little. Okay, I've never had a snake actually be on top of the tin before I flipped it, but I'll just put him right over here. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> All right, you ready? Right here. Oh, Newt, Newt. Look at that. That's bizarre. Why is he like in the layer like that? I think that would get a little too hot for him. See that? Oh, God. Okay, that's interesting. All right, second layer. Oh my god! Oh! It's a Yes! Let's go! Ah! Oh. <laughs> yes, bring it in! Ah! Oh. Woo! Oh my goodness! There it is! Oh, it's a milk snake, baby! Alright, here. Maybe we'll get two. Maybe we'll get that would be insane, wouldn't it? You ready? Oh, I'm so frick up oh, ribbon, ribbon, ribbon. Wow, he's a big boy too. There we go. A ribbon. Let's oh. flip these last ones. Oh. Holy crap. This is just great. I'm my so happy. Oh, oh, big ribbon. Ribbon. Just okay. keep my, my thoughts. Oh, that, that. Yeah. Alrighty. I don't see anybody. Alright. <laughs> let's lay these. Oh, you can smell the musk. Oh, yeah. They are having a fun time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna put these guys back. All right, first you, I'll go back here. And then you, we're like, yeah, right about there, yeah. All right, well, here it is. This is precisely what I put this tin out here for. And this is a red milk snake. Now, they're not technically called red milk snakes anymore because they changed the taxonomy on them again, which they did with a lot of different things. They're technically just called eastern milk snakes now because back in the day you used to get the eastern milk snake, the red milk snake, and uh, I think that was it. The, the eastern was the overarching species, but there was also the eastern subspecies, and then there was the red subspecies along with that. But now it's just the eastern is qualified for every one of them. But that's a bunch of boring taxonomy stuff. I'm sure not a lot of y'all are really interested in that. Uh, the more cool thing about this guy is just look at how bright his freaking colors are. Wow, I say that and the sun comes out. How about that? <laughs> now, obviously, uh, for most of you, you probably know this. Uh, it's called aposomatic coloration, and uh, they use this, oh, look at that. Look at that. So this is a funny thing I have noticed with a lot of milk snakes is that they don't, well they will sometimes, but most of the times when I'm holding them, they don't really coil up and strike at you, all right? They they just chew on you for some reason. And it, you know, comes in really weird times. Like, you know, it didn't really seem like he was really uh, defensive with me. It just kind of, he was just chewing on me. And this is something that milk snakes do. Yep, yeah, see, there, there he goes again. It's something that milk snakes do a lot for some reason. I really don't know why, and it's specifically with these guys. It's, it's strange. Good learning opportunity here. You can see with my finger where he bit me, there's literally nothing. This snake is extremely small. Here he goes again. You ready? Oh, well, he changed his mind. You know, their teeth, they may have a lot of them. They have hundreds, in fact, but a snake this small, his teeth are really, really uh, tiny. Uh, it barely even breaks the skin, if at all. So it's really not that painful. You don't really need to be terrified of getting bit by a non-venomous snake. A, because it's probably never going to happen to you unless you uh, pick them up like I am, which is obviously something that you don't need to be doing, nor do I recommend it. Oh, look, he's about to do it again. Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. There he goes. He is. <laughs> Literally, being, what it feels numbing. like, it's a little pinch. That's all it is. Yeah. You know? It's kind of it's kind of like somebody being like, hey, how you doing? Yeah, it's like, you know, <laughs> pinches you a little bit. That, and that's all it is. He's about to do it again, actually, I think. Yep, there he goes. <laughs> Something weird with milk snakes. But yeah, the other reason is just because, you know, it, it really doesn't hurt that bad. It's, it's really not that uh, painful. As you saw, I'm not crying or screaming or anything. It's really not that bad. What's really cool about the milk snakes is that they're actually a type of king snake. They're in the uh, genus Lampropeltis along with speckled and black king snakes and things like that. So that means that yes, they will potentially eat other snakes as well as rodents, as well as uh, insects occasionally, things like that. You know, they're uh, fairly opportunistic, so they'll eat just about anything they can fit in their little mouths right there. But yeah, they will, well, there he goes again. <laughs> but they yeah. will in fact eat other snakes too. Uh, so if this guy were to come across a uh, one of those decays brown snakes we saw a while uh, just a minute ago, he might have eaten that if he was hungry. So, but yeah, that's just a couple things about these guys. Um, stop biting me, silly. 
Oh yeah, he really just wants to chew he on is. it now. We just took, we just had a little <laughs> photo shoot with this guy, and he's a little he's irritated. Probably ready to head out, and you know that's exactly what we're gonna do. I see herpers all the time collect these guys a lot, and I always get bothered by that. You know, I'm not 100% anti-collecting. You know, I think it's okay in moderation, but I see these guys get collected all the freaking mm -hmm. time. And uh, you know what? Yeah. I I'm not going to uh, partake in that. I'm yeah. sure he enjoys it out here, and I know these guys are already sought after enough, so why mm. even uh, contribute to that? So I'm going to go ahead and put him back, let him enjoy his life. So let's go ahead and put him back under his tin. I think he was under this layer right here, if I'm not mistaken. And there he goes, right back under his little slab of tin. How about that? Hopefully if I'm lucky, hopefully if we're lucky, we will see him again one day. That was something amazing. Oh, I'm happy right now. That was bringing in another one. Mm, pound it. This is awesome. 